Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Premium Toyetic Events. I'm Dave and um, today we are going to talk about the Money in the Bank pay-per-view that just happened um, this past weekend. So we're not going to talk about who had the best match, who had the worst match, who won, who lost. Although we will be talking about some great moments. Um, from the show, but most importantly, we're going to talk about who had the best gear. Um, we may even have a little special surprise at the end. We'll see how that goes. Um, but of course, these are going to be who we think from the premium live event should have the next figure, whether it's a main event, an elite, an ultimate, whatever the case may be from Mattel. Um, with this being a WWE Premium Live event. So, I am going to kick things off with my first pick. Pick number one. I love doing this lately. Um, pick number one for me is going to be from the main event of the show. Uh, Six-man tag team match. And of course you had the new bloodline going up against the team of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Randy Orton and Kevin Owens and this should come as no surprise um, the newest member of the bloodline of the WWE roster um, of course I am talking about Jacob Fatu um, the Samoan werewolf made his debut recently and I mean just from even seeing him in this first match you can see what kind of an outstanding performer he is um, and hopefully you know before Mattel makes their version of Jacob. You know, he does have that Boss Fight Studios MLW figure coming out, but of course we're looking forward to seeing him in the new t-shirt, um, his new merch shirt. We are looking forward to seeing him in the black and red of the Bloodline, and um, just what an awesome, awesome debut match. I mean, you saw him when Randy Orton did the uh, vintage Orton DDT through the ropes. Um, took a second, hopped right back up, and when Orton did the turnaround and slapped the mat, he, of course, was surprised to see Jacob on his feet. Um, just a phenomenal debut match, and, you know, just seeing him with, like I said, that black and red of the bloodline, that's going to be an awesome figure once that day comes. So, Jacob Fatu, my first pick. All right, so for my first pick from uh, 2024 Money in the Bank, I am going to take uh, Chelsea Green from the Women's Money in the Bank uh, ladder match. Absolutely insane match. Um, awesome performance from all of the women in that match. But uh, Chelsea kind of playing to her home crowd with Trish Stratus in the house. Um, had a really great ring attire that was inspired um, by Trish's iconic cowboy hat and, and maple leaf, um, themed attire, red and white, uh, awesome, awesome ring attire. And I know she has just had a fantastic elite that's out, uh, too, actually, including a chase variant. But, um, in that figure, she has kind of that shush face on, which is part of her entrance, which is, which is a great expression, but I'd love to get a different Chelsea expression, um, on the figure here, something that's a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, representative of her character as a whole, so, um, you know, we, uh, we could have kind of a more neutral face, maybe a smirk, maybe a, a smiling face, but, um, something that's a little bit more represent representative of, uh, of Chelsea, and of course her performance in the match was unbelievable, she took an insane table bump uh, from the ladder towards the end of the match, uh, right before, spoiler alert, um, Tiffany Stratton uh, grabbed the briefcase and, and, and secured the victory, uh, becoming Miss Money in the Bank, but Chelsea was definitely the star of the match um, throughout. Such, a, such an absolute joy to watch, and she is incredible uh, and, and excited to see more. So let's get more Chelsea Green figures. That's my first pick. Eric, in his first pick, um, gave a lot of props to Chelsea Green, um, and that's going to be where my second pick lives, in that same Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, also somebody who did not win, 
but was involved in, I think, one of the wildest moments of the of the match. And somebody who hasn't had a figure yet um, in WWE from Mattel, whether it be a main event figure, an elite, or an ultimate, and that is going to be Zoe Stark. Now, Zoe Stark had a cool look with the blue and white, which is a different look for her, but also the face paint. And I think that's great. And she also has like this um, side of her hair that's like kind of shaved or kind of braided. Um, I just think she is a pretty toyetic wrestler. Um, she's going to have a little bit of a different look from other wrestlers, whether it's in main event or elite, um, when it comes to being a figure. And I think, especially if people want to recreate with their recently released EO Sky, that Michinoku Driver kind of power bomb, sunset flip bomb, crazy bump onto the ladder. Um, I don't remember exactly which move it was. That's why I'm kind of stalling for time and stalling for memory. Um, kind of one of those things that made you jump out of your seat and go, ooh, that's wild. Um, but especially with Zoe now forming a team with Sonya Deville, who has a figure. Shayna Baszler, who has multiple figures. Sonya has multiple figures too, but in this kind of current incarnation of Sonya. Let's get Zoe a figure. So that way, figure photographers and hey, kids alike can have that team together. So my second pick is Zoe Stark. Okay, and for my second pick, uh, one of the big surprises of the night, um, we got a little You Can't See Me uh, action from John Cena as he announced his retirement tour. So, um, you know, he, he had a new, uh, a new shirt, new hat, new towel, The last time is now. Uh, I got a little emotional watching it, to be honest. I kind of missed a lot of Cena's uh, main run. Uh, that, that was during my kind of break from wrestling. But as I have caught up and, you know, as I've been watching him in his more recent runs, he has been just, he's a, the man is a treasure. He's a treasure. He's wonderful. Uh, he's wonderful in the ring. He's wonderful out of the ring. Um, but as he has announced his, his farewell tour, his retirement tour, one last run for 2025, beginning um, with the Royal Rumble. It will be exciting to see what they do with Cena, but we just got an awesome um, John Cena Ultimate Edition to kind of represent his uh, his his most recent run, um, and it's the first time we've got the little towel. So we have we've got all the tooling. Let's just get uh, let's just get that red shirt, red hat, you know those that that iconic moment from him announcing his retirement. Um, I'm sure there will be more John Cena figures to come as, uh, you know, as he kind of heads down this, this road to retirement. But, uh, but in the meantime, that was such a, a, a well-delivered promo, a promise to the fans and, um, you know, a way to kind of, um, uh, commemorate his career and it, they could even do something like they did with uh with the undertaker when the undertaker retired we had that undertaker 30 figure um in elite form in the special box kind of a one-off uh figure that i believe was a walmart exclusive but they could do something similar with cena too if they don't want to go the ultimate route so that is my second pick from the 2024 uh money in the bank uh ple and that is our look at the money in the bank premium live event that is our premium toyetic event review of the show, as it were. Um, but that's not it. I promised a surprise and a surprise I have. So um, Eric's not as tuned into NXT as I am. I, I watch NXT pretty regularly. And um, the day after Money in the Bank was NXT Heat Wave. And there were some great matches on that show. Um, Axiom and Nathan Frazier versus Chase U. That was an awesome match. You had um, Kalani Jordan versus um, Sol Ruka for the NXT Women's North American title. That was a great match. Um, Roxanne Perez versus Lola Vice. That was a great match. But I'm going to the Fatal 4-Way, the main event for the NXT Championship. And who came out on top? 
All Ego Ethan Page, one of the newest members of the NXT roster, um, winning the NXT Championship. So I'm going to go with All Ego Ethan Page to get his first time in the line. Yes, he's just received his AEW figure. Yes, he has a big rubber guy coming out. But as the NXT Champion, let's get him uh, that first time in the line, Mattel Elite. Now... I'm not going to stop there because there was a little tease at the end of the show and as NXT played out during the week, um, Power Town, I'm going to say his name and I hope he appears in Power Town. Of course, I mean Joe Hendry. Um, TNA Ultra Series 2 hopefully comes out. Hopefully Series 1 was great. But I think uh, Series 2 should have Joe Hendry in it. And that is where we're going to wrap Premium Toyetic Event this week. Um, so from NXT Heat Wave, my two choices were All Ego Ethan Page and... For Power Town, Joe Hendry to be in the TNA line. Um, love that NXT TNA crossover. It's been it's been awesome so far. Um, so that is it for today. As always, you can see on uh, YouTube our previous premium toyetic events, our episodes, which the most recent one had video. Exciting. So when you are on YouTube, make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, so that way you know when the next video is going to come. Do you like what you see? Do you have things you want to add? Who do you think should be an action figure? Who do you think was the most toyetic wrestler of these last couple premium toyetic events? Well, we do premium toyetic events. I mean premium live events. I'm just getting all jumbled up. There's a lot going on today, and I'm going to keep that in. Um, but yeah, who do you think should be a figure? Leave a comment. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to see it. Um, let us know you're watching. Share. Do all that good stuff. We saw the little button come up before. We are on the internets, on the social medias, at AIC underscore podcast. Subscribe, follow, like. Um... You'll see stuff in stories. You'll see our episodes in stories when you have Q&As. Or when we have Q&As, which is pretty much every episode, you'll be able to ask questions. Just follow along. There's a lot of good stuff on there, I promise. I say that because I'm part of that good stuff. Well, thank you again for watching. Make sure you do all that good stuff. And for Eric, I am Dave. And this has been Premium Toyetic Event, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.